goes deep to right. See ya! A walk-off solo home run by Hideki Matsui. And the Yankees win 2-1. to one. Here's a fly ball well hit to left off the bat of Matsui and gone. A pinch hit home run for Hideki Matsui. Rodriguez goes and a fly ball into right. Down the line. Gone. When you hear the name Godzilla, the first thing that comes to mind is the famous Japanese movie about an enormously scary and destructive prehistoric sea monster awakened and empowered by nuclear radiation. In the sports world, the next thing that comes to mind is the legendary Japanese hitter given the nickname due to the terrifying power hitting that scared opposing pitchers. Yes, Hideki Matsui left his imprint on the sport of baseball, and in this video, we will discuss 8 reasons why he was actually good. Number 8. Superstar in Japan Hideki Matsui was born June 12, 1974, in Nigari, Ishikawa, Japan. Interestingly, Matsui originally batted right-handed as a child. However, when he started playing with his older brother and his friends, Matsui was such a good hitter that his embarrassed brother insisted that he bat left-handed or stop playing with them. Well, suffice to say, the request backfired because Matsui became an overpowering left-handed hitter, and the rest, they say, is history. Matsui was so good as a youngster. He was recruited by Serio High School in Kanazawa, Ishikawa, a Western Honshu baseball powerhouse. In 1992, during a national high school baseball tournament, he became a nationwide topic of conversation when he drew five consecutive intentional walks in a game at Koshin Stadium. The intentional walks were considered excessive and unsportsmanlike, but the strategy worked, as Matsui's team lost. Matsui's reaction to the intentional walks was widely commented upon by the media for his stoic, emotionless conduct during those at-bats drawing praise from tournament officials and reporters alike. Following high school, Matsui was drafted by the Yomiuri Giants in the first round. He was given the uniform number 55, which was a single season home run record held by Sadaharu Oh. It was as if Matsui was anointed in LeBron James-like fashion to challenge the legendary Jordan-esque figure in Sadaharu Oh. Things did not go to plan because Matsui struggled as a young player in his first three years. Finally, Matsui enjoyed a breakout season in 1996 when he batted 314 with 38 home runs and 99 RBI, and he never looked back. Matsui became a three time MVP in the Japanese Central League in 1996, 2000, and 2002. Godzilla led the team into four Japan series and won three titles in 1994, 2000, and 2002. He also made nine consecutive All Star games and led the league in home runs and RBIs three times in 1998. 2000 and 2002. In his final season in Japan, Matsui came close to O's record single season mark by smashing 50 home runs in 2002. In the 10 seasons he played in Japan, Matsui totaled 1,268 games played, 4,572 at bats, 1,390 hits, 901 runs, 332 home runs, 889 RBI, a 304 batting average, and a 582 slugging percentage. Yes, those numbers made the man a superstar in his homeland. Number 7. Stellar Rookie MLB Season In 2001, Matsui turned down a 6-year, $64 million offer from the Yomiuri Giants, the highest in NPB history. Matsui had his eyes focused on heading stateside to play in the MLB. Matsui signed a 3-year, $21 million contract with the Yankees on December 19, 2002. A parade was held for him in Tokyo to celebrate his signing with the Yankees. Many reporters and photographers followed him to the MLB from his home in Tokyo. On March 31st, 2003, Matsui made his Major League debut against the Toronto Blue Jays in Canada, becoming the first Japanese player who made his MLB debut in Canada. Matsui hit an RBI single in his first Major League at bat. At the 2003 Yankee home opener, he became the first Yankee to hit a grand slam in his first game at Yankee Stadium. Talk about making a first impression. Matsui hit 287 with 16 home runs and 106 RBI in his rookie season. Matsui finished four points short of the closest ever Rookie of the Year award in 2003. Matsui lost the award to Kansas City shortstop Angel Barrera. The few writers who didn't vote for Matsui felt he was too old to be a true rookie. That sounds like highway robbery to me. However, 
Matsui was a starter in the All-Star game and played left field with Ichiro in right field. What a moment for Japan and Matsui was just getting started. Number 6. Japanese Iron Man In Japan, Matsui was an Iron Man in playing the sport he loved consistently. Matsui played a remarkable 1,250 consecutive games, which is the second longest ever in Japan. He endeared himself to Yankee fans everywhere by being reliable and taking pride in wearing the pinstripes. Matsui played his first three seasons with the Yankees without missing a game, compiling a streak of 518 straight games, the longest streak of consecutive games played to start an MLB career. It means Matsui played 1,768 straight professional baseball games between both leagues. Yes, in an age where players make every excuse not to play professionally to preserve their bodies, Matsui did the opposite and risked it all to play for the fans and his beloved franchises. What a selfless player he was. Number 5. Clutch in the Postseason As a rookie, Matsui got his first taste of the postseason in 2003. Teams tend to shy away from putting first-year players in the starting lineup because the situation could potentially be overwhelming. However, the Yankees did not have to worry about Matsui wilting under the pressure. Godzilla played just as well slashing 281, 347, and 438 in 17 games as the Yankees won the AL pennant before falling short against the Marlins in the World Series. Matsui still made history though, becoming the first Japanese player to go deep in the Fall Classic hitting. In Game 2, Matsui smoked a 3-0 pitch to one of the deepest parts of the field, dead straight over the center field wall and the 408-foot sign. It was an electrifying moment that resulted in a curtain call for the young Japanese player. Yes, the man had ice in his veins. Fun fact, funny and secretive guy. The perception of most fans is that Hideki Matsui was a quiet guy because of his serious demeanor. However, Matsui was quite the character and had his funny moments. For instance, Prior to Game 7 of the infamous 2004 ALCS, in which the Yankees tried to prevent making history and relinquishing a 3-0 series deficit, Joe Torre tried to motivate the players. At the end of the meeting, it was traditional for Joe Torre to ask Jorge Posada what we were going to do. He would reply, grind it. However, he decided to pass the privilege to Matsui, who paused for just a second before replying, kick some butt, pop champagne and get some women. At least that's the cleaned up version. The Yankees did not win to prevent the catastrophic collapse, but this is a legendary story. Matsui is a secretive guy because, in 2008, he announced to the media that he had gotten married. However, Matsui refused to reveal details about the wedding or his new wife, only saying she is 25 and from Japan, and formerly worked in a reputable position at a highly respected company. To top it off, the man brought a drawing of her rather than a photo. Yes, that's right, he brought a sketch. Matsui could have probably had a future in the CIA or the next mysterious James Bond. Number 4. Reinventing himself after devastating injuries Matsui had a devastating wrist injury in 2006, which stopped his Iron Man streak. Matsui was gracious and even apologetic in his words after the surgery. I would like to thank Joe Torre from the bottom of my heart for having been considerate of my consecutive games played streak over these past several years and for placing me in the lineup every day. I feel very sorry and, at the same time, very disappointed to have let my teammates down. Yes, Matsui wore his heart on his sleeve and took pride in being an everyday player. The injury shelved him for most of that season and the Yankees determined that Godzilla would no longer play the outfield. He had to reinvent himself by being an exclusive DH player. Like a chameleon, Matsui adjusted to the new role because, in 142 games as the team's DH, he hit 28 home runs with a 274 average. The lesson in life, folks, when life gives you a lemon, just make lemonade, right? Number 3. Japanese Home Run King In 2007, Matsui went deep for his 100th Major League home run, becoming the first Japanese player in MLB history to hit the century mark for long balls. Matsui finished his big league career with 175 dingers and totaled 507 professional home runs between the NPB and MLB. Matsui still owns the record, with Shohei Otani in second with 118 home runs, who recently passed Ichiro's mark of 117. Matsui is likely to hold the record at least until the 2023 season based on Otani's hot pursuit. However, Matsui remains the Japanese home run king. Number 2. World Series MVP Undoubtedly, Matsui's shining Major League Baseball moment was in the 2009 World Series against the Philadelphia Phillies. Godzilla simply would not be denied his moment on the big stage. Matsui went 8 for 13, batting 615, with 3 home runs and 8 RBI, including a World Series record tying 6 RBI in Game 6. Yankee manager Joe Girardi stated, 
Matsui has been a clutch player ever since I've known him. Yankee first baseman Mark Teixeira said, Oh my goodness, you can't say enough about Matsui all year. The biggest game of the year, unbelievable. I haven't seen a guy hit like that in the World Series. When Matsui came to bat in the seventh inning, the crowd gave him a standing ovation and chanted MVP, MVP, MVP. Matsui basked in the moment stating, You could say that I guess this is the best moment of my life right now. It's been a long road and a very difficult journey. The Yankees won the World Series in six games, and Matsui won World Series MVP. Matsui became just the third player in MLB history to hit over 500 with three home runs in the same World Series, joining Yankee greats Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. Yes, Matsui showed the world he was clutch in the big moments, and to show his value, the Yankees haven't won a ship since his electrifying performance. Number 1. Legacy for Japanese Players Hideki Matsui has left a legacy for Japanese players in being one of the greatest positional players from Japan and the best slugger to date. He had an accomplished career with the New York Yankees after a phenomenal year with the Yomiuri Giants in Japan. Matsui deserves the recognition he received by being elected to the Japanese Baseball Hall of Fame and has a real chance of getting elected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame in the United States in the near future. Yes, with an unassuming look, but a deadly approach at the plate, there will never be another Godzilla to grace a diamond ever again. What do you think of Hideki Matsui's career? Do you think he is worthy of the Hall of Fame considerations in Cooperstown? Let me know in the comments section. Smash the like button and subscribe for more premium sports content. Until next time.